Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. How is everybody on this fine evening? Hello, hello, hello to everyone. Now, a uh, <laughs> quick disclaimer before we do start off the stream. I've decided to test the limits of, well, what my machine and what my new internet service provider can do. So I'm streaming on two... Uh, Onto, uh, onto two things at once, <laughs> which could be quite interesting. It could go really well, or it could make the quality of the stream absolutely abysmal. We will see, won't we? But I'm streaming on both Twitch and YouTube this evening, so uh, just a quick, uh, couple of quick hellos to everyone. Hi, Hydroxide and Khan over on Twitch. And on YouTube, we have Zero, uh, Michael Harvey, Zook Slasher. <laughs> Juk, Juk Slasher? Yeah, something like that. Uh, Melonface and Etters. Hello, everyone. I hope you're all doing okay. Let me know if this appears to be working for you. <laughs> That'll put my mind at rest. But today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be starting our Romulan campaign. And I think it's going to be pretty good. I think it's going to be pretty damn good. Loving those Roman science, Romulan science vessels? Oh, yeah. It's a... Uh, it's a... Uh, it's a fake. <laughs> hey, GD Bats, how you doing, buddy? How you doing? Well, let's just take a look at what the uh, what the campaign's going to consist of. I think I'll oh, very quickly. I'm just going to tab out and I'm going to turn the music down a little bit. Let's just turn it down a notch. That should do, and we can get rid of this thing because it's no longer required. Lovely. So, let's take a look at the uh, diplomacy screen. And, well, there are four players this time. <laughs> hey, Trekker, how you doing, buddy? We have myself as the, uh, the pointy-eyebrowed Romulans. He looks like he's having a good time. Needs a shave, though. We have Task Force... Ugh. Bajoran. We have Task Force 12 uh, as the Federation... We have, have the House of Nogra as, of course, the Klingons and the Second Order as the Cardassians. Uh, I don't know whether they'll go uh, Union or Dominion yet. We'll have to see during the course of the episode. But uh, we're playing on a relatively large map. I can't remember the name of it because I'm a pillock. But um, it is a... Um, I think it's a medium map with about 40-odd stars. Uh, 40 planets or so. So it's not huge. The Cardassians might well stop me. We will certainly see, guys. Uh, Theodore, hello. Welcome to the stream. Azeron, welcome to the stream also. So, let's tell these guys to explore, and without further ado, we will unpause. Now, <laughs> we're going to have to do things bloody fast. Uh, I think because we're probably facing some stern opposition here. Uh, usually I would go with Ministry of Orders, but we're going to get a couple of Ministry of Wars in. Uh, perhaps, perhaps a Ministry of Order as well. Good stuff. And we'll need a few hawks. Now we're playing on the uh, we're playing on the test version of Nemesis. Uh, so fingers crossed, it's all going to be quite nice. The hawk will have a new ability once we pop one out. So one should be building here. Yes, it is. How may I serve? Let's take a look. There you go. It's got this plasma burn, and. It's tied to its weapons, and if its weapons do score uh, a critical hit, if you will, then it'll do 40 damage a second. I think that's quite high. I am yes, looking forward sir. to seeing what they can do. <clears throat> now, that's in line with the other starter frigates. Um, not 40 stars, no. 40 planets. <laughs> Here we go. How may I serve? How may I serve? It is more brave to live. Than to die. I forgot how much the um, <laughs> the Romulan sounds enrage me. <laughs> but let's we get a few more of those. I think six of them all together might be enough. We will see. There is about a five second delay between YouTube and Twitch. Uh, you do tend to find uh, as the oh, evening yes, will sir. progresses that uh, the delay will get longer as well. Yeah, YouTube sure. seems to uh, YouTube seems to lag further and further behind during the course of a stream, whereas that doesn't really happen with Twitch. It's one of those bizarre things that I, I don't really know the reason why. Okay, let's take a look at the Imperial Navy. We know we're going to want some shrikes uh, as soon as is 
practical for us. Absolutely, you're going to want some shrikes, which also have a new ability, I believe. I'll have to check that. We are also checking a new upkeep. Uh, upkeep? Yes, uh, a new oh, upkeep yes. star, a new upkeep system, which I think could be quite interesting. What is the request? Now, the new upkeep system. What it effectively does is, if I go into my research and go to the Imperial Academy. I'll hover over this, and you'll see that while our fleet supply does increase, as it always has, only dilithium and tritanium extraction rates are impacted. Each ship now, it confers a credit issue uh, to your race. And that's how it, that's how it now works. Speaking of a credit issue, we need to social spec our world. At least a little bit. That should be enough ships for now. To these coordinates. Where's best to go? <clears throat> Honoria. Let's go there. And we will also research the Shrike. Good stuff. It's not a strong Proceed fleet, but I think it's acceptable. You've got to live vicariously through me. Oh, I'm sorry about that, Chuck. Well, hopefully you'll get a new one soon. YouTube is uh, busy demonetizing videos. <laughs> well, yes. I am yours to okay, let's see what we got here. A rapier. And we can see that it is taking that, that plasma burn. And it seems to be cutting through it quite nicely. It doesn't stack, as you can see. But it does seem to fairly continually hit, which is pretty damn good. I do think the Hawks are going to be very competitive there, in the sir. game now. Uh, that's damn near gone. Come on. Research is Give it another pop. There it goes. Alright, moving on to the next ship. Uh, let's take Destroy out this Cutlass. Target. We should be able to build a few Shrikes. Five Shrikes? Yes, I think five Shrikes will be enough. And let's also get some Imperial Repair Teams up. And from there we'll do a little bit of... Uh, do you know what we'll do? We'll actually forget that. Uh, we'll wait a little while until we can get the Hidden Research Labs. We could really do with that. Well, the way that we've decided uh, it wants to work... Also, there are game limitations, but we'll quite, uh, quite aside from the game limitations, um, if you have got uh, fleet upkeep facilities, uh, you're going to need a bunch of tritanium. Um, we've decided that the tritanium and dilithium are the, uh, for the upkeep, upkeep of the facilities to look after the ships, whereas the credits, well, they pay the, they pay the captains and the and the crews. <laughs> I imagine the crews also get paid. Ooh, let's uh, create the Presidium before we forget. Right about there. What's my favourite Romulan ship? Um, probably the Shadow. I think it's got the most diverse utility list. Uh, and oh. Huh. They're here. Take this world. My life for the Empire. Let's move these guys over. Uh, now we wanted to research our research labs. <laughs> research our research labs. Of course we should. Yeah, I think the Shadow is probably my favourite. Uh, my favourite ship. You can find it here. It has excellent abilities. It really yeah. does. Um, the Dideradex, It's always a fan favourite. Uh, I like it as well quite a lot. But there's just something about the uh, the shadow that uh, seems to set it apart somewhat. All right, we've got a few uh, sh shrikes join our fleet. Uh, sadly, this doesn't actually have the ability it should. But what does what is theoretically supposed to happen is um, they get a better chance to hit. Uh, when they're in a group. Let's make sure that that works, shall we? Let's take another three of them and send them that way. 
We all traveling together? Yes. My favorite ship in the whole of STA3, Theodore. That is... I think you'll be surprised. Um, I do think you'll be surprised. My favorite ship in the whole of STA3 is the Constellation. There's something about those uh, that TMP design. I think uh, I think the episode with Stargazer in also plays a massive part in that for me. But I love it. I absolutely adore it. Bring all weapons to bear. <laughs> oh, hello, my king. What is the request? Bouncy, bouncy. Do they have a Jaeger anywhere? Uh, yes, they do. New planet detected. Let's send them over as well. How may I serve? Destroy that target. Yeah, that for, that uh, that burn is actually doing a, a pretty damn good job. Uh, let's just have the remainder of Shrikes. Uh, do we have enough money to get some more of the money? Do we have enough uh, credits? We do have enough credits. There we go. Let's take another research lab. You love Brels yourself? I don't blame you. They're beautiful ships. What is the You choose the ambassador, uh, Theodore. What did you think of the Probert version uh, of the ambassador? I really like the lines on that. I think it's a, a really nice melding. Oh dear, what's this? The sector's undergoing a market crash. That's not too bad. There we go. You see that these uh, Shrikes now, they've got an 8% extra bonus chance to hit. Their shield restore rate has gone up by 8% and their chance to evade sadly has gone down, but uh, that's not surprising. Okay. I think we've just taken the world. A Cerulean Nebula isn't too bad for us. I think what we might do... Oh, that's an emission nebula. That's a shame. Lay in a course. Is there anything really bad anywhere? No. Good. My crew is ready. What I'm going to do is I'm going to Station send these ships Empire. here. We'll clear out this nebula. Come here. Clear that out. And then we will go to uh, Dispulvia. Our okay. ships have arrived. Right. Let's take one of those. One more research lab. I'm trying to get all those research labs up as fast as I can. And also the architectural reform, because that's going to be really helpful on these type of planets. Now, I'm not very good with Romulans. I've never been very good with Romulans. Xeron, uh, uh, it's a lovely idea, but no, we've, we've never spoken with... Um, we've never spoken with Stardock or with CBS about creating a game... Um, of Star Trek Armada 3. We've never, um, I don't think we've ever had the skill, to be honest. Uh, I don't think we lack skill as a group, but making a game with a fresh engine is a whole different kettle of fish to modding. Modding, you've, you're given something to work with. It's it's like being given, uh, uh, like being given a wall and asked to paint it. Whereas building a game, you've got to build that wall before you paint it. And that's, that's really difficult. It's, it's much, much more challenging um, than simply painting it. I, I wish I had the skill. I really do. Perhaps it's something for the future, eh? What does Cerulean Nebulas do to me? Our research is complete. Weapon cooldown and weapon range is, crew is ready. vastly reduced. Fire all weapons. <laughs> GD, uh, I think we've between us watched all, all of uh, Voyager, sadly. Um, 
the Warp 10 episode is still possibly my least favourite. Uh, followed probably closely by Tuvix. Do not like that one at all. Although it would kind of solve a problem because I neither like Neelix or indeed Tuvok very much. Uh, so melding them into a single individual gives me only one thing to hate rather than two. <laughs> I suppose that depends on a number of factors, doesn't it? Let's take a look at the social spec and what kind of uh, improvements that's done to us. Yeah, tax is looking pretty tasty there now. Uh, I think we'll take another one. We have engaged the enemy. Oh, come on. There we go, more social spec. I am yours to command. Right, fantastic. So, militia ships are all dead here. Let's move on. Research is complete. New I adore the uh, the Excelsior. I've always extorted, uh, adored the Excelsior. I uh, I think I'm one of the few that prefers the Lakota variant to the original variant. What's the Nemesis Beta? It's our next version. Uh, CNK. Or CN Commander, I should say. It's it's um it's the next release of Star I'm Trek Armada just 3. Any Cardassian. Grinzel, thank you so much for following us on Twitch. Uh, Grinzel's one of the lead developers of New uh, of Star Trek New Horizons. Uh, if you don't know who Grinzel is, uh, fantastic mod for a fantastic game. That's Stellaris. <laughs> Grinzel says, <laughs> He's invaded. My life for the Empire. Let's take this guy out. Oh, Theodore, you prefer the Lakota variant as well. Hmm. There we go. I mean, there's only ever two, um, you can call it official if you want, there's only ever two I'm not just real Lakota variants that are ever actually seen, which is the Enterprise B herself, and indeed the Lakota. So, whether she was a very common ship, we don't know. Most of the, um, let's just zoom out a little bit so I can hear myself think, um, most of the, um, Excelsiors that you do see, even in DS9, they're the standard variant rather than, rather than the, uh, Lakota variant, but, uh, but there we are. Oh, you're, inco you're incognito here. Grinzel, uh, is just a follower of the stream. Ignore him. <laughs> Zeron's right, mods have become games before. Um, I think you've got to have a very fortunate group with a very fortunate skill set in order for that to happen. It's not something that you will very regularly see happen. What's going on over here? It's just a scout. Nothing to be concerned about. I'm not worried. Why are you worried? Stop worrying. There we go, let's upgrade that, and then we'll upgrade land consolidation too. I've lost a ship now. It is more brave to live than to die. Oh, so, yeah, there's nothing to take here, is there? Hopefully that's just full of aceton assimilators. It is. We're not going to want to go there. Darmok cruises everywhere. Now we could try and be a bit cheeky breaky here and go down here and take that shattered moon. It's also got a Ferengi trade port at it. Proceed. King Bowden, welcome to the stream. Any plans to add in a mirror universe version? Um No, in honesty. Uh if somebody wants to do a retexture. Uh, of the Federation in order to make them look like their mirror universe, we would host it happily. In fact, I'd be delighted to see it. I think it would be super duper cool. But it's not something that we have the time to do. I mean, uh, I think we're already running two mods and uh, doing various other bits and bobs. I just don't think I could... I don't think I could justify forcing Max to do it. <laughs> I force him to do enough stuff already, bless him. Oh, Stamper, you've just seen uh, some of the plans that we have for AOTF. Yeah, we think it's going to be quite cool. 
We're really looking forward to showing that off properly. We're not ready to do so yet, though. I wasn't planning uh, to... Well, I, I wasn't planning to show AOTF off at all yet. I wasn't even planning to release the ModDB page to the public. But, um... Well, I had a little bit of an accident. I, I think is the long and short. I, I made a mistake, I clicked a button, and... Well, I encouraged Mac to click, click a button, and it's there now. <laughs> so, <laughs> so there we are. <laughs> Fantastic. Now, I think we could probably do with uh, another Ministry of Order. Because it's going to behoove us to get to the Imperial Trade Forum. Yes, I said behoove. How may I serve? Engaging target. The mirror texture mod, yeah, absolutely. It would be really cool if somebody does that. We changed our minds about that. There's been a recent uh, Ages of the Federation gross art. Uh, you should be able to find it on the Sins uh, on the Sins mods. Now there is a page. Zindi hostiles protecting planets. Uh, you might see that. <laughs> I don't want to confirm or deny, but it's certainly not outside the realms of possibility. I am yours to command. Oh, all that free XP. Uh, Nemesis is no longer going to be a totally separate release. We did do a news piece where we spoke about this, but uh, um, from TFF. And the reason that we don't want that to happen is because it's actually confusing and more difficult for you um, as a user. So uh, our intent now... Oh, that's going to be a bit unfortunate. Let's see if we can uh, move the fleet over here. It's live? Wait, it's live? It's live live? It, it is live. <laughs> hey, Genocast. How you doing? Lorendel, hello. I'm sorry. I've, I've missed a couple of people when they've started talking. I, I'm so sorry. There we go. That's much better, isn't it? Proceed, Centurion. They go, they're, they're not being naughty anymore. Uh, let's get the trade forums re ready. Let's get some narrow beam mining as well. Really got to focus on that economy. Keep it steady. Ah, oh, the icons, yeah. Uh, some of them, I, I think we took a lot of inspiration from Star Trek Online. Uh, I don't think there's any real denying that. But uh, I think there are some that would otherwise have been directly from Star Trek Online, but uh, we took them from... Oh, I can't remember who the previous runners of Star Trek Online were before uh, before Cryptic. There was another company, and they had uh, a bunch of icons that, uh, as they no longer use technically, we used, we used some of those, or at least rehashes of those. Let's get more narrow beam mining, because that would be lovely. Ooh. We'll have land consolidation shortly soon. I think it might be within our avenue of interest to sort these uh, Norsicans out. Because if you don't sort the Norsicans out here, what will happen is trade ships won't be able to get through. We have engaged the enemy. And trade is a handsome little devil. Even though we don't have any cash. <laughs> we have the superior firepower. We have the superior base. Station complete. <clears throat> Some players have been reworked a little bit, yes. Yes, we're making AOTF. Uh, we... <sighs> We've had a lot of assets for quite some time now. Uh, we made a lot of assets for Infinities. Uh, as you know, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to complete Infinities because we don't have the coders. And we also made um, quite a few assets for a previous mod, which was going to be an Axanar mod. But um, we... When the whole um, when the whole legal issue started in earnest, we decided to back away from the Axanar mod. Um just by virtue of the fact that we really didn't want any legal ramifications. I mean, ultimately, it appears to have transpired that there probably wouldn't have been any uh, legal ramifications to us, but you can never be too careful. Uh, the last thing we would want is for SDA3 to be taken down. I think there's one before Perfect World as well. 
Could well be Atari. Ostriches, the Klingons would have won the war against the Cardassians. They were simply a more powerful warrior race. I don't like it, but uh, truth is truth, and it's inescapable, I'm afraid to say. The verdict is always the same. Guilty! <laughs> yes, we made our own discovery model. Uh, we, we didn't like uh, the... Dis or we, we don't overly like, I should say, the model that they've actually made for discovery, because... Um, we don't think it oh, would shit. make sense. <laughs> oh, that's a their decorus. Let's get out of here. More brave to live than to die. What's this? Uh, Engage engines. Okay, so let's bring our fleet over there. We are absolutely not, absolutely not um, going to try and take that at this point in time. Uh, with two decorum marauders there. Wouldn't stand a hope in hell. Reinforcements have arrived. Don't need a lance at the moment. Let's get Tomaluk. We'll take some containment upgrades as well. We're gonna need both of these. Tis more brave to live Ooh. than to die. Let's improve that graviton flux field. I mean, who doesn't want a graviton flux field? We have the superior firepower. Hey, Tricky, how you doing, my man? Hey, Rain, how you doing? Oh, everybody's here tonight. Hi. <laughs> Are the streams both running quite smoothly for you guys? The ships have gone. Come on, lads. Let's get get a move on. Sorry, sorry for these two strikes. They just keep getting left behind. Our research is complete. Right. Uh, let's take the capacity for more capital ships and, indeed, better logistics. We're going to need them very badly. Uh, we could also do with both types of turrets. No enemies have taken this yet. I think we're doing okay, actually. Our I think we're actually in control. Kind of. Our research is complete. But we need Our more ships. Yes, I know. That's a lot of research. Calm yourselves. Our wow, research they research quickly. <laughs> I'm not sure that that's intended. Uh, let's take the Dominus. Our research is complete. <laughs> Rains in both chats, causing me difficulty. Making me scratch my head. Uh, not many new ship designs. Hopefully before the end of this series, I'll be able to show you one of the new ship designs. Uh, but no, these are all pre-existing Romulan designs. Uh, the vast majority. Hello, Tomalok. We're going to move Tomalok to the Class D Shattered. Let's do a bit of that. Uh, let's get some trade forums up. Because we need the dollar. The dollar. The dollar is what we need. I should probably give Tomalak abil an ability, shouldn't I? Let's give him the uh, formidable foe. Because he is. We lack the resources. We lack the resources. No. There are quite a few differences um, 
in early game for Romulans. Um, for example, the Hawk here, that's got a new ability, it's called Plasma Burn, and on hit, its weapons have a chance to start burning the enemy's hull, which makes them much better in early game combat. In addition to that, the Shrikes, which we also have a few of, they've got a new ability, which doesn't have an icon, whoops, um, has something called Shield Formation, and when they're all close together, speaking of that, uh, when they're all close together, as hopefully we can see here, you can see that they have a fairly extensive buff to their chance to hit, to their shield restore rate. Their, their evade does get a bit worse there. But I think that's a reasonable trade-off. Right, guys, get back there. Well, I suppose if that's the way you want to go, that's fine. I don't necessarily expect that we're going to keep Yakis Klee. <laughs> I don't think there's any guarantee of that. Now, capital ships. I want a shadow very, very badly, but we'll that would mean Centurion. two more labs. Let's see if that is a possibility for us. Let's get the trade forum up. Upgrade this. Upgrade that because we forgot to do so earlier. That was probably costing us a fair amount of money. Yeah. I think we've forgotten this. No, we haven't. It's just costing us money. No, it isn't. Well, there we are. <laughs> Oh, Khan, I'm glad you like the look of it. It's something that we're really looking forward to working on. Uh, as I say, it's still early days yet, so don't uh, don't expect a release overnight. But uh, we're we're fairly confident uh, when it comes to, um, as you, as you can imagine, we we are relatively confident when it comes to the Sins engine. So I think we can do uh, a relatively decent amount of damage. Klingons do have a nasty habit of blowing up their star bases. You're not wrong. <laughs> You'd think it wouldn't be a, a Klingon characteristic in a lot of ways, but uh, I think it it works for us. Station complete. Yes, let's grab some border garrisons. How far do we social spec in the end? Not all the way. Yeah, we're getting some decent tax income from that now. Good. <laughs> Our research is the, um... Well, that'd be telling, wouldn't it, Theodore? But yes. <laughs> there is a class very like the Ares class. Yes, sir. Head to these coordinates. Let's see uh, if we can find anything interesting on any of these planets. Our research. I'm really, really tempted to have a pop at the uh, at Task Force 12. See how far they've expanded. GDBats, I love Star Trek, and if I had the skills and the knowledge, I'd probably, uh, and the time of course, I'd probably make a mod for any number of games for Star Trek. Um, uh, if, just as an example, GalSiv Gal 3 or Gal, um, was fully moddable in the way that I would want it to be, then I would consider doing it on that, but there's, there's any number of things. Really is. It would be... It would be exciting. But sadly, I don't think that's to be in the short term, at least. Our research is complete. Uh, Tricky Diggy, we're not looking for any beta testers for any of the mods at the moment. So we feel like we've got a full complement for the time being. However, as we progress... Um, towards a release with AOTF, which is a little bit away, as I say. Um, 
we'll probably be looking for beta testers, yes. Just not not right now. Masters of Orion. I've tried Masters of Orion 2. Good game. Ah, oh, cup of tea. Lovely. <laughs> Oh, yes, uh, we were going to uh, try and utilise these areas to get some more Ministries of War up, weren't we? Struggling in the Dilithium Department. Hello. Oh, it's just a scout. Not to worry. <laughs> Station complete. You doubt my good faith. I do doubt your good faith. Uh, the Winged Defender is going to be quite useful. The Heavy Defender useful. So, one more lab, and I think we're pretty good. Let's grab that. So, let's get another lab. Oh, no, not there. Did we not research? We're such pillocks. Take another Ministry of War. And now, that should open up the uh, Heavy Defender for us. Heavy Defender, a Griffin, and ultimately a Shadow is what I'm going to want. Uh, we will unlock that for the Griffin because it's going to become useful. Station complete. John Delancey, Mark Ham Hamill, magnificent. Discovery ruined Ages of the Federation. Our research. Is uh, we uh, now you're welcome to disagree with this, ladies and gentlemen. We're not considering Discovery to be Prime Universe uh, at present. We think there's too much of a divergence uh, from the uh, from what we consider to be the established Prime Universe, and what they have told us is canon. <laughs> it just, it, it doesn't seem realistic. It doesn't seem reasonable. Uh, so, yeah, we think that's its own alternate universe. It can do its thing. We'll do our thing. Uh, and I think we'll probably be truer to the fans' memories. However, we're not going to be modern in the same way that Discovery is. Uh, Discovery is... It's opening Star Trek up to a new generation, and that is in no way a bad thing, in my opinion. It's in oh, it's research. absolutely in no way a bad thing, and I don't want a bad mouth discovery. It's just, it's it's not for us. Um, <laughs> we're part of the old guard. We believe in uh, the old canon. Station complete. Excellent. The research is happening. Uh, some, uh, Stamper, with regards to uh, audio sounds, some of them, yeah, we'll be using some of the same ones, and we'll be using different ones as well. Uh, Judocast agrees with me with regards to uh, with regards to Discovery. I'm glad someone does, because I, I do sometimes feel like I'll get hate for saying that. Um, but as I say, it is just my personal opinion. Uh, I don't want people to think that I'm bad-mouthing Discovery. Uh, it does have a lot of nice things about it. Um, I was saying the other day to Bane, uh, a lot of our development team really don't like Discovery. They really don't like Discovery, and they're very, very vocal about it. But I think it's important to give this a chance. Uh, I'm of the opinion that if Discovery as a program fails, as a series fails, we're not going to see another Star Trek series for 20 years. We just simply won't see one. So I would, as a Star Trek fan... I would try and support Discovery with all your might, even if you're not sure about it, to start with. Just in order to make sure that it's not seen as such an abject failure, that it turns producers off the idea of Star Trek. 
Because that would be a sad thing, wouldn't it? Enterprise is still canon, we, and we do have Enterprise-era ships in AOTF. Quite a few of them, in fact. We have gone with a slightly Axanar vibe, because uh, the, the, the canon that we've decided to establish, uh, and as I say, it's our own canon, uh, is we've gone from Enterprise-era, uh, kind of through the Axanar-style era, uh, up to the very beginning of TOS. That's what AOTF is, uh, or the Four Years' War, I should say. That's uh, when it's set, and that's the time period that you're going to be tackling with, and they're the kind of ships that you're going to be seeing. A lot of people are really telling me good things about uh, about Orville. I, I need to check that bad boy out. I've been I've been very remiss in not uh, in not doing so. Let's have one of those. If we're able to take this block of planets, and I think we're, do you know, the enemies aren't really doing anything, are they? Haven't seen them. Hopefully, they're just attacking each other. Make sure they're all still alive. They are. Yes, I I know there's a new Master of Orion out. I do like it. We serve only the Tal Shiar. Joe, can anybody tell me what uh, what Orville is on? If you'd be so kind, because uh, I haven't watched any of Orville yet. Uh, I've heard very good things about it, but I didn't know what program it was on. Uh, I know it's not on Netflix, because that's, that tends to be what I use. Uh, AOTF, Blue Destroyer, is Ages of the Federation. If you take a look on ModDB and do a quick search for it, you should be able to find it. It's very, very early stages uh, as a mod, but uh, I think we're going to be doing some good things with it. Where to proceed? Let's take the... Swiftly and silently. Swiftly and silently. Let's take the holographic fleet. My life for the Empire. My life for the Empire. Orville's on Fox in the US. Well, I certainly don't have access to Fox, I'm afraid to say. The sad girl is sad. Swiftly and silently. I don't hate temporal stuff. Um, I think there have been a few good temporal episodes out there. Oh, shit. Alright, guys, move it. Swiftly and silently. Reinforcements have arrived. Gonna have to retreat the fleet. Retretez-vous, la flettez-vous. We have the superior firepower. Well, you're gonna have to start making use of that very, very soon. Oh no, actually, let's have another Dominus. I'm sure you will understand when I explain. I do. I fully understand. Fully understand. Swiftly and silently. Ah, uh, there may well be a trade upgrade on here. Measure facilities. Good call. Thank you very much. Well done, Rain. Well done. We lie in the shadows. Right then, you. Right, heavy defenders um, for Romulan early to mid game. They've been made a lot cheaper. If I was to, I'll let that battle happen by itself. What's that? Bloody Kessok heavy over there, bastards. We can see heavy defenders are now pretty cheap. 505, 90, and 70. Proceed. And therefore, they're much more attractive to build. Uh, there's an ability that the Griffins have, 
which is the propulsion jammer, and that's a more effective ability than it was. You can see that that's now force attacking, and the enemies aren't going to be able to get away. Kessok Heavy is going to be an absolute bloody nightmare. Let's bring them in here. Got the lovely Dominus. I really like the Dominus design. Orville is a um, a satirical um, television program, television series. Uh, it's very much like Star Trek uh, in its overall design philosophy. I, th I think that's probably fair to say, isn't it, guys? What do you reckon? Let's get some weapon upgrades, maybe a bit of armour. Uh, but it is, it's intended to be satirical. Alright, lads, get back to the homeworld. You, turn around, kill that. Let's see what that Kassok Heavy's doing. Destroying all my shit. <laughs> I don't know what it's killed yet. Well, it seems to be just flying around like a pleb going for my construction ships. Good. We serve only the Tal Shiar. Swiftly and swiftly. Uh, my overall opinion on the Mirror Universe and what's in it, I, I like it. I think there have been some really good episodes. Uh, I think the uh, the original series, TOS episodes, uh, involving the um, episode, involving the uh, Mirror Universe, the was very cool. Lay in a um... I also think the DS9 episodes were relatively okay. I don't think the DS9 episodes were brilliant, uh, but they, they were okay, they were there. And of course, uh, the Enterprise episode was pretty good. So, yeah, overall, I like the Mirror Universe. I, I like the, uh, the fun it had, if you like. My life. Let's see what else we can get. Uh, perhaps just take a look in here. One thing that we probably could do. Yes, we could. Let's take another Ministry of Order. That brings us to here. Nothing really that excessively good here. Yeah, I regret that. Let's not do that. Let's have another Ministry of War. I don't think we need to be concerned about culture at the minute. I, I'm not bothered about culture. I don't like to culture spam. It is more brave to live than to die. I don't think you're getting away with it, Kessok Heavy. You're not. In a there it is. You're not getting away now. Reinforcements have arrived. Let's see if these Kessok lights are being killed. God, I love that missile. It's beautiful. Missile? Torpedo. Okay, Karma friend. Uh, it's an absolute pleasure having you here. Thank you so much for joining me. And thank you very much for the happy hunting. <laughs> What do you mean, ew, Romulans? You like the Romulans' exodus. I've seen it. dealt with. 
and we got to take him out as well. Let's see how our ships are doing over here. Let's get in there. Getting towards dead. It's eating that Griffin class alive, but let's zoom in on a couple of, of our fighters. Disappeared again, this sausage. Not to worry. Have we taken an enemy ship? Shadow, Dominus, Javelin, Griffin. Over here. Why have we suddenly got minus 16 points? That seems a little bizarre, doesn't it? We serve only the Tal Shiar. Oh! The Kessok Heavy Cruiser belongs to us. Lovely! Absolutely lovely. Let's move over here. <laughs> Keep it steady. Go fed or get dead. Nah. <laughs> Nobody likes the feds. Hey Viking, how you doing this evening? Discovery's Federation is way too hostile, says Theodore. Uh, not just to other empires, but inside Starfleet. Yes, that is a big change for Star Trek. Um, in... Oh, what's this over here? Uh, oh, God, it's the Torellian Plague ship. It's ignoring me! <laughs> Off you go. There's a good lad. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> Anyhow, yes, what were we talking about? Yes, I agree. Um... Star Trek has abandoned its old philosophy, if you like, of um, of peace, harmony, love, and all the other fuzzy stuff. Which some people might suggest is a good thing, and other people really dislike. Uh, let's grab one of those. We'll grab one of these and these. Ah, need, needs more upgrades. I think we can get another Ministry of War here, can't we? Yes. So let's uh, grab Sealer. Oh, lovely. Uh, we've got the Harpy class coming up. Uh, we can take a Valdor class as well. So we've got the upgrade of the Dideridex. We have the Valdor. We've got Sealer. Oh, yeah. It's, it's all looking pretty, pretty tasty here. That is what I like. I'm not going to bother with outpost construction yet. We're so low on economic research. It's unreal. Is more brave to live than to die. All right, we do have the capacity to upgrade a little bit more here, so let's take the next planetary. The next planetary jib jab. We have the superior firepower. Put all of you in one fleet. Tell you to travel together and blockade the enemy. Let's go steal some fed ships. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Your PC's down again, Viking. What happened? Hey, Ragey Peep, how you doing? Our research is complete. Proceed, Centurion. Station complete. Also, Vic Vector, I didn't notice you in the chat before. Welcome. No, no, Vic. No, no, Vic, not at all. It's better dead than fed. Not the other way around. No excuses. <laughs> right, once these have all been uh, researched, God, you can go through your research so fast as the Romulans. That is Our such a bonus. It's so good. <laughs> Looks like we're getting damaged inside this nebula. What does it do? Damage taken per second, 10, but it does restore your antimatter somewhat. Not a grow. Yeah, we're not even going to get involved with that. Just carry on, lads. Which part of we're just going to carry on where you're not listening to? Stupid ships. Uh, perhaps let's take a bit of modular sequencing. 
There will be new maps in Nemesis. We haven't developed them fully yet, I'm afraid to say, but yes, there will be. Our research is complete. Did you recently get a new power supply, uh, Viking? It's possible that that's failed. The Klingassian Alliance. The Klingassian Alliance. <laughs> uh, the Klingon Cardassian Alliance. Actually, it looked pretty cool. I really like their flag. Their flag was awesome. This Darmok fellow clearly wants some, so I'm going to give it to him. not ideal. This is not what I wanted. Didn't want to be fighting these Darmok geezers. Hey, Jarrell, how you doing? Okay, this looks weaker than the Darmok, so let's uh, let's utilise that. Boom! There he goes. Onto the Darmok. Let's just clear this out. We don't need the likes of them. Our research is there we go. And I think we will take uh, we'll take a Valdor, and we'll probably take a Donkey Dex as well. Fortunately for us, we got loads of that. Let's grab that to Deradex. And ooh, a harpy, a single harpy. <laughs> Jello alert. We finished it off. Let's move here. What do Protostar Nebulas do? They do a pretty similar thing, actually, so we're not going to do that. We're going to move here. Oh, you've been so unlucky with your computer lately, buddy. Vic likes to uh, usually play uh, the Klingons or the Cardassians. They're actually wildly differing playstyles. Uh, when you play as Cardis, Vic, do you tend to go for the Union or do you go for the Dominion? If you go for the Dominion, I can understand why you like Klingons as well, because you like that fast-paced alpha style. Let's grab another couple of Harpies. Because who doesn't want a harpy? To coordinates. I don't know why I started singing. <laughs> there's, there's, there's no excuse for that, is there, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> Come on, Dominus, out your pop. Alright, it looks to me like we could do with waiting a little while to get our shield uh, harmonics up a little bit better. No matter what I say, I value Bane greatly, so his head on a spike would make me very sad. Ah, look at all that lovely healing. different. It's really interesting to see um, Vic as a player. He adopts to wildly different playstyles. A lot of people get quite stuck in the type of playstyle that they, that they like. Um, and going for the Union and the the, the uh, Klingon separately like that, he's really adopted to very, very different playstyles. I salute you. I think that's excellent. Let's have a remote defense field. Now, we have our Valdor. How may I serve? You may serve by murdering my enemies. Let's give How you the serve? combat maneuver. Warbird reporting. And here's the, here's the Dideridex. Excellent. 
Uh, I'd like you to have the absorption layer. We serve only the tall shield. Harpies have got the anti-proton beam and, of course, the standardized plasma burn. We're going to have some more shrikes as well. Infecting the game with harpies. Timothy, welcome to the stream. My <laughs> life for the Empire. So, are both streams still behaving themselves? I'm, I'm, I'm quite surprised. Right. That's all the ships I can get for the time being. Let's move everybody else up. Uh, Proceed to oh, no, I didn't want to do that. I wanted better shielding, didn't I? The Romulans are very much shield tanks, so actually upgrading their shields is going to be more of a benefit to you than most uh, most researchers you might otherwise do. I'm not ignoring you. Dominus can get ships and natural resources. Yes, they can. Keep it steady. Engage engines. So one thing that's quite... I'm, I'm trying to uh, concentrate a little bit on the game and also uh, look at two chats as well. So my apologies if I do miss anything. It is not meant as a slight. A set. You sieging bastards. Let's uh, put a couple of torpedo launchers down. Potentially should be enough. Let's oh, see. Sir, she is complete. Where's that constructor? Engage engines. Ready to build. What are you doing? We don't have the time for this. Go. <laughs> Not have my planet destroyed by a Moset. Oh, maybe I will. <laughs> it's so weak. <laughs> oh no. Well, if it goes down, it goes down. Hello. We serve only the Tal Shiar. Fascinating. Looks like the enemies swiftly and kill it. Swiftly. Fighters reporting. Intercept course set, Commander. I couldn't possibly comment on that any further, Theodore. I'm afraid to say. There's a thought. Let's move these guys in. We lie in the shadows. Fighters reporting. Let's see if we can grab that Norway glass. <laughs> it's realized its error. <laughs> One torpedo going in. Pew! Did a lot of damage. We uh, serve the tar seems the enemy have woken up a little bit all of a sudden. To coordinates. Leave nothing remaining. Wasted space? Uh, I didn't say anything about wasted space, but I do like his uh, I do like his videos. And yet I haven't taken any natural resources. Oh yes, we have. <laughs> there are others I could take. I could take some here, but uh, I'll do that once I build another Dominus class. I, I actually might upgrade again here. Yes, I will, because uh, what I'm going to want in the very near future is I'm going to want uh, to bring Sealer onto the battlefield. So perhaps if we sell a little bit of this and buy a little bit of this. Station complete. There we go. So with that, I can grab another Dominus and uh, do my thang. That should be empty. Yes, it is. Any, uh, there's Tritanium extracted there. Our research is complete. Perhaps even here as well. Begin a sensor scan. 
It appears we've taken a Federation scout. Are you suggesting we don't have available ship slots yet? No, we don't. Of course we don't. Do do do. Hey, Jordan, how are you doing? Night, Night Owl, welcome to the stream as well. How would I make the Mirror Factions gameplay-wise? Honestly, very, very similar to the uh, to their current factions. I don't think there's a justification to have them with any significant differences. Move it. We serve only the tall she are. Hello, Sela. Treachery will get you everywhere. Yes, it will, Sela. You can have a Tetrion field emitter, the psionic subverter. Or the Tal Shiar network. I think we'll have the Tetrion field emitter. Engage engines. We have the superior firepower. Proceed to coordinates. Reinforcements. Now you, as a planet, should be able to build a trade station here. We cannot. And if I'm right, yeah, it's a Ministry of War. That sounds lovely. <laughs> huh. I wonder where that's going. <laughs> Inform the Senate that victory will soon be ours. Well, I'm not worried about it. <laughs> what did I think of the way that Discovery did the Klingons? I didn't like it. Hey, Helios, how you doing this evening? Got any whales? <laughs> Have you got any leeches for this? <laughs> right. As we've now got that, we should be able to... Uh... Oh, not quite, not quite. We need one more. Which I think we can build here. Yes. Right, we may as well try and grab Denatra as well. I think before we go anywhere, tactical evasion is going to be a good thing for the harpies. I think we're doing very well, but I'm going to pause. Because I think that's got to be the end of the stream. I was only planning to stream for about an hour. Uh, it's been a little bit longer than that. Um, it's been actually really fun. I'm enjoying the Romulans. That, the early game boost that they've had uh, from an attack power perspective with both the Shrikes and uh, the Hawks here, in addition to the cost reduction on the heavy defenders, I think that's really paid dividends. They do feel a lot better now. I won't forget to save. I'll do it now while... I'll, I'll do it while you're here. <laughs> Romulan LP1 because of my imaginative naming system. Um... <laughs> But yes, yes, um, I'm quite happy with the way that the Romulans played there. Um, at the moment, I suspect that uh, our credit system isn't charging us enough. So we're going to need to look at that. Uh, we haven't really tested it in any depth at all up until this point. And I think the, cre uh, the credits that each ship is costing us... It's quite simply not enough. It needs to be more because we're making too much. We're making 28.7 uh, per second, even at this stage in the game, which is... Eh, it's not too bad. But we've got so few planets. Like we've only got uh, one, two, three, four, five, four. Cardassian bastards! <laughs> oh, 
You absolute bastards. They've taken my world. Oh, Kanajo, I'm just about to leave. I'm so sorry. I'm afraid I've got to leave. Uh, it does have to be the end of the stream. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I'm sorry to Kanajo, who's just joined us. And I'm also sorry to Timothy and Helios. <laughs> but, ladies and gentlemen, I will be joining you again in the very near future. So, for the time being, this is the girl. Out.